We're back at day two of ESWC 2015 in Montreal, and I have with me Sponge from Renegades. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm beautiful. Beautifully well. Um, so the first thing I want to ask you guys about, it's something that maybe people don't appreciate that much. It's the crazy length of your journeys to these events. Uh, every time I see it, you guys talk about it, it seems like a real, you know, travail. Uh, could you elaborate maybe? I was the last one. How was the journey here? It always sounds like we're complaining, which isn't a very Australian thing to do. But uh, to travel for 30 plus hours with stopovers and time difference and that kind of stuff, it, it really takes a toll. Uh, I got sick again traveling to this event, sitting next to sick people on the plane. Yesterday I had a fever and I had to go get some, some cold and flu medicine and rest as much as I could. Rest as much as I could last night and I'm still feeling a bit under the weather today. So the, the travel, it's, it's a big part of... Um, you know, we have to get acclimatized, so we have to come to the events earlier. And especially with one like this, we lost quite a few days of practice. Um, so I think it affects us more than everybody else, but that's expected coming from Australia. Um, we just got to learn to deal with it. We got to keep healthy so we don't get sick when we get to the event. And um, yeah, that's about it. Speaking of learning to deal with it, you guys were just signed by Renegades, which is a North American based organization, correct? Yeah. And I saw something about the possibility of you guys either you know having a little hiatus in LA or uh, living there I'm not really sure what it is uh, do you have any words about that uh, so the plan for the end of this year is to go to LA for the second season uh, and live in the team house and compete uh, in ESA or ESEA Pro League whatever yeah I said that right um, and try and compete in that uh, so we're waiting for a date uh, back from them to see when we'd be going hopefully it's uh, September uh, because hopefully we qualify for the major and potentially Gfinity in the middle of August so it would suck for us to have to move over there then uh, plus it's very soon um, but that's the plan we want to go to LA for a couple of months towards the end of the year uh, and try and compete in a few American leagues and see where that takes us and in regards to competing currently uh, yesterday you had a really kind of I would say tricky group uh, I was standing around and I saw that you know um, you guys were a little bit uh, pressed, maybe, that I could say, because it was it was coming down to the wire, in a way. Uh, how do you feel about the group? How do you feel about CLG and your game with them and their chances? How do you feel about the fact that you've advanced? Oh, we're happy that we advanced, but it was a very lackluster day from us. It wasn't the team who played at Gfinity not long ago. Uh, we didn't feel happy with our performance. You know, we made it out of groups, fantastic, but we made so many mistakes. We started slow, we didn't play our game. We tried to prepare a lot more for the other teams than what we had in the past. Like when we played Fnatic and NIP, we prepared a little bit, but we didn't put in too much uh, counter stratting. For these guys here, we watched a lot of CLG demos, we watched a lot of Envy demos, and we thought we had like a good game plan, but we were just sketchy. We were stuck between our style and trying to counter strat, and without the preparation or the lead up that we needed in terms of actual PC practice, that really affected our results. Um, I was happy, obviously, with that comeback, the CLG, like that was fantastic that we were able to keep composed and come back. That shows that we're strong as a side. Uh, the game versus Bravado uh, was Inferno and we just had a strong CT showing and shut him out of it. The game versus Envy was probably the most disappointing for me because I think we should have won a lot more rounds on that T side. Like we, we could have won pistol round, it was a 1v3, like we just played the positions incorrectly and we lost that round and then we were like 10-0 down before we won a round and people were trying to make individual plays and I just didn't have control as I should have as the in-game leader. So from my perspective I'm disappointed in the way that I called that match. Um, but yeah, happy to be out of the group. And it's going to be important to have control as an in-game leader in the match coming up soon because I, I saw your last played statistics with Navi and it's not pretty. I think 16-3 might be the highest. Or are they getting 16, you guys, 3. Uh, so I, I, I'm almost certain you guys are prepared for that. But what are your thoughts on the game coming up with Navi in general? Well, we definitely don't want to get like fisted like that again. Like That's, that's not something that we want to happen. But uh, the thing is, it's easier said than done to keep that out of your head like you know we're always going to think about those matches and go like wow they're able just to bully us and play aggressive style now whether we've learned anything from those matches and we can adapt and bring that into our gameplay today that's going to be the interesting thing um yeah i saw lips's tweet about how many rounds we won over three maps versus them or something you know it's it's it sucks but we can't go into the game with that in our head. Um, we've got to kind of think this is a best of three series and just give it our all and go with our game plan and just try and play our style. And then when that doesn't work, we need to be able to transition to play against the way they're playing. So um, it's going to be an interesting, mat an inter interesting match. I'm confident that we can perform better than in the past. And I would, I, I'm not going to rule us out. You know, like if we show up today better than we did yesterday, I think we have a shot. Um, 
And there is one more thing. We talked about the future already in regards to uh, Renegades and ESL, ESL, ESEA. It is hard to say. Uh, but there's one more thing that you guys came up in the news for recently, which was the Face It League and not being able to go to DreamHack Valencia. And ironically enough, Navi replaced you, which is kind of a weird pairing. But uh, do you, I mean, yes, of course, it makes sense to go to the Malaysian qualifier. That's the right choice. But was it still a hard choice? Did it still kind of suck nonetheless? Yeah, definitely. Like, we wanted to go to face it because we missed out on the last one. We lost to Immunity and they got to go over us, which sucked. Like, we want to be the premier team in Australia. Um, so to not qualify for that uh, the first time around sucked, and then to not be able to go the second time around, like, sucked even more, you know? But we had to make the choice for the major. Obviously, you know, we want to go to the, the Valve run tournament or the Valve endorse tournament um, and try and get involved in that, that filthy stick of money. Um, but... Yeah, I would. I really want to go to a Face It event. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh, we got to meet the guys from from Face It, and they they seem like good guys. So hopefully we get to go maybe season three or see what happens. So yeah, they're not gonna punish you for anything like that. No, nah. uh, because we played out the league and we couldn't attend, and they understood that we couldn't attend. Same deal as immunity. You know, if we dropped out of the league, uh, then we wouldn't have been able to play the next season, which is fair enough. Um, that, that's pretty much all for my questions. Uh, but I do have one final one. Do you want to thank anybody, sponsors, shoutouts to someone like that? Yeah, big shout out to the Renegades organization, uh, obviously Monte Cristo and Chris Badawi, uh, and Alpha Draft, our sponsor. So, yeah, thank you. That's it with Renegades. Uh, good luck in your match today. And we're going to be back with more interviews from the final quarterfinal matches and the semifinals if we can catch them. So stay posted to hltv.org.